So, how did this Dutch teenager end up as a founder and CEO of a non-profit and leading a team of 120 engineers, researchers, scientists, and computational modelers in order to tackle the impossible task of cleaning up the ocean? Because, at one point, he made a choice. In the summer of 2011, a 16-year-old boy on slat went scuba diving in Greece, but what he ended up seeing was more plastic bags than fish. Being the type of person to obsess over an idea, Boyan immediately began working on ways to solve this problem. He spent the next year experimenting and testing his ideas. This inspired him to come up with a passive system to use the currents to collect the pollution rather than chase after it. He decided to explore this concept further as part of his school science project, and in the end, his solution to the problem took the form of a floating barrier anchored to the ocean floor. This approach could concentrate floating plastic and debris into a single area for extraction. After high school, he went on to study aerospace engineering, but his mind was always on his new capture system. He was even invited to speak and present his ideas at TEDx in 2012. After six months into university, he decided to quit. At age 18, Boyan founded a non-profit organization called The Ocean Cleanup. Several months later, many news sites picked up his TEDx video making it go viral, which then led to an outpouring of crowdfunding support and donations. This gave the ocean cleanup the resources needed to recruit its initial team and focus on developing scalable technologies. Their floating capture system has since undergone key advancements and upgrades and has successfully harvested plastic in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Their ultimate goal is to put themselves out of business by ridding the oceans of plastic. Through his actions, Boyan became the youngest ever recipient of the UN's highest environmental accolade, Champion of the Earth. And he also went on to become a member of the Teal Fellowship. Boyan was determined to not only clean up the oceans, but to also bring more global awareness to the plastic problem by making it feel more close and real. Because plastic stays in the ocean for very long periods of time, they slowly degrade through the effects of the sun and the waves. This then produces microplastics, which are particles smaller than 5 millimeters. These microplastics have been found in tap water, honey, sea salt, and even beer. While the ocean cleanup has a mission to retrieve legacy pollution through their floating capture system, they also have a second mission, to close the tap. Every year, millions of tons of plastic enter the ocean, primarily from rivers, and research revealed that 1,000 rivers, or 1% of all rivers globally, are responsible for 80% of the plastic floating in the ocean. In 2019, the ocean cleanup unveiled the Interceptor, the first scalable solution to preventing plastic from entering the ocean from the rivers. The Interceptor is fully autonomous. It concentrates the flow of plastic and debris onto its conveyor belt, which then deposits them into dumpsters. All of its electronics, from the conveyor belt, to lights, to sensors, to data transmission, are 100% solar and battery powered. It's also internet connected, so that it can notify local operators when it's full. And it was designed, from top to bottom, for mass production. Currently, there are three interceptors deployed across the world, and the ocean cleanup aims to deploy into all 1,000 rivers in five years. Team Seas is a global campaign aimed at removing one pound of plastic and trash from our rivers, beaches, and ocean for every dollar raised. Their goal is to raise $30 million to remove 30 million pounds. They have partnered with the ocean cleanup to tackle the rivers with more interceptors and the ocean conservancy to tackle the beaches and ocean 100% of the money raised will go directly to these non-profit partners. If you'd like to join and support Team Seas, go to teamseas.org. As a teenager, Boyan Slat made a simple choice. A choice driven by his desire to solve problems. To become part of the change he wanted to see in the world. But, everyone has the same choice. And every choice, together, makes all the difference.